there's not really a perfect definition of cyber crime or cyber security. We see different offenses that are usually categorized as cyber crime. They range from access to a computer system, uh, computer related fraud, um, to things like child pornography. The difficulty that we have is that a lot of people that are a victim of cyber crime do not report those crimes. Therefore, they don't appear in the crime statistics. Consequently, we do not really have good raw data. The most severe difficulty and the biggest challenge for companies is that they're usually not going through an individual risk assessment. They're trying to copy best practices, best industry practices, which is a good approach. That's a good start. But they need to look into their individual risk sphere and they have to develop solutions that match those risks. Well, I believe in technical developments and cloud computing can go along with great advantages for companies. Uh, so I believe that it is not quite fair to say that it leads to additional risk and they have to be terribly careful. But the risks are different. While a server in the basement of a company is going along with risks, for example, somebody in the company could access it or there could be a hacker. Well, these risks might be less severe when it comes to cloud computing because the operators usually have better protections, but there are different risks. For example, the transfer of information to the cloud server. Therefore, companies need to go through a risk evaluation and see if this is going along with an increase of risks or a decrease of risks. I believe in this environment, there will be no situation where we say there is no risk. These technologies will always go along with risks and it would be wrong to require that a technology is not going along with risks. If we'd done this before with regard to public transportation or with regard to cars, there would be no car, there would be no bus, there would be no plane because there are certain risks. But we need to try to understand those risks and mitigate them wherever possible. One possibility is that we go through a security, uh, security by design process and implement this right from the beginning. Well, to answer the question is, is really difficult because there are companies that believe they've never been hacked, but they just don't know. So um, I know that there were uh, cases when I was on international travel where communication was intercepted. I know that there were attempts and successful attacks against websites, but um, I'm trying in my strategies to avoid being vulnerable when it comes to main assets. That means there are strategies to just avoid storing certain data or do have analog processes instead of digital processes, which makes it more difficult to carry out sophisticated attacks against those assets.